of Tesla fans wanted to do a video on um, efficiency of the Model 3. Uh, as you might be aware, I uh, and if you watched my video from yesterday, I went to the back country of Georgia uh, for a hiking trip. It was a very spontaneous, random trip that I did. I just woke up one morning yesterday morning and I just felt like um, I haven't walked for a while, like walked in the sense of walked on a hiking trail for a while. So. Uh, my car had 200 miles of charge, I looked around some hiking trails, uh, found one that I really liked and packed my bags and left. I think um, that that was the whole point of the video yesterday was to show that with your Model 3 you can you know go wherever you want, whenever you want without feeling any restrictions. Today's video is about the efficiency of the Model 3. I want to demonstrate how far you can go with this car. I mean, the EPA rates that with the long range version of the Model 3, you can go 310 miles uh, for a full charge. What I have found in this uh, long road trip of mine, so just, so just for some more context, before the hiking trip yesterday, um, I randomly again decided um, that I wanted to go on a long long road trip, almost cross-country road trip from South Florida where I live to uh, Atlanta to a friend's place in uh, Atlanta, Georgia and I think roughly the distance is about 640, 650 miles from my place to his place door to door. So I just packed my uh, backpack and I left um, and I charged like two times on my trip in between and um, charging took me about 30 minutes each. Um, and on, on such a long trip, 650 miles, about, you know, you should at least stop a couple of times, I think. But anyway, so I, I drove that long distance and I wanted to see how does the car perform on a freeway. So most of my drive has been on freeway. It was on I-95 first, then a little bit of for a turnpike, um, then I-75 all the way to Atlanta, Georgia. I've been driving, as you can see, I've been driving at uh, the speed limit of the freeway, which is 70 miles an hour. And I've, you know, through random videos, through you know, different people commenting about the Model 3 um, and electric cars in general, uh, people have been talking about that uh, electric cars don't get you the range that uh, is advertised when uh, those cars are sold. So this car was advertised with a 310 mile range. I really wanted to see whether I can get 310 miles of range or not. And in a very real life situation like this, when you're going on long road trips surprisingly and this is really good news for all the Tesla fans out there this car can get more than 310 miles of range and I can I can demonstrate that over to you uh, through this efficiency chart that I've been getting so I have in on an average been getting about I mean even 228 is a little higher it's gonna drop down further as I um, you know, as I drive more miles uh, after the charge. So my last charge was about 38 miles uh, ago, and as you can see, the efficiency has been dropping. I've been, you know, going on. It's not. It's not a very flat freeway. It's almost like rolling hills in between. You know, you go up, go up and down. Uh, but what I've seen is that if you drive at the speed limit of the freeway, which is not very bad. I'm not driving too slow, or I'm not driving too fast as well. But 70 miles an hour is not a bad speed to go at. If you drive at that speed, you get, uh, I mean, 227, 226 is pretty high, but I've seen as low as 200 watt hours a mile. And if you assume, for argument's sake, for right now, uh, and there is a lot of data out there, people have been posting videos about the Model 3. If you assume for a second that this car has 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is 75,000 watt hours, if you are going at 200, Watt hours per mile, you are your range is 375 miles if you do that math. So again, the car is advertised with 310 miles, but what I'm getting in real world is much more than 310 miles. I wouldn't say it's like 375 because you know I'll, I'll probably have to do a few more trips to kind of get that number, but it's definitely more than 310 miles. I think that it's around 350 maybe. Uh, between 350 and 370 and I just wanted to you know there's there's a lot of hate out there there's a lot of 
speculation on electric cars in general and Model 3 and Tesla to be specific uh, that the car doesn't do what uh, what it's advertised at and there are a lot of there's a lot of fine print in, in the sales of an electric car I call bullshit on all that it's 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 actually much better than what people expect it to be and this is besides the fact that the car from a performance perspective, from a technology perspective, from an environment perspective. So a, a, a lot of different uh, you know, perspectives you can look at the car from and you might have one that you really care about. Um, what I really care about is a good car to drive that can take me long distances, uh, that can do most of, most of the things that you would expect from a really good performance mid mid-sized luxury luxury sedan and this car just blows it out of the park on every single of those expectations that I personally have again you might have some different expectations and this this car might not meet all the expectations that you might have but personally speaking I consider myself to have very realistic reasonable expectations I reasonable expectation in terms of range reasonable expectations in terms of performance in terms of the technology, in terms of the convenience, in terms of the car being frictionless to get in, get out, drive. And the hallmark, and I think to sum, to sum this video up, the hallmark of this car is that it is frictionless. Uh, little things like getting in, getting out of the car, I mean, you know, the key for this car is my phone. There's no other key. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, it, it, it almost like it welcomes you to drive it that's the fun of it it's like it, it's it's making driving fun again uh, and if you don't want to drive you know it it will step away and it'll drive for you and that's what technology is supposed to do it's supposed to make our lives better uh, without you know getting in the middle of it without like adding any more steps than we already have to take to do any any tasks in our life so I think that's 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 the whole point of technology improving lives and I think this car excels um, you know blows past all the expectations does does much much better than I had ex personally expected and I am a technology enthusiast I you know I am the kind of person who, who wants to try on new technology it doesn't always work but in this instance it works and it it is something that I didn't expect. I I am really, really glad that I got this car. I've been really happy. And for all for all of those those you know people out there who are waiting for the standard battery pack version, which is a cheaper version of the Model 3, the thirty five thousand dollar version, I would say just hold on to your reservation, and you will not be disappointed. And I think Tesla is doing a great job at uh, improving their production numbers. Uh, yesterday I checked. The Bloomberg uh, Tesla Model 3 tracker, they are tracking 4,500 cars a week uh, after the burst production rate went up to 5,000 cars a week at the end of Q2 2018. So they've been pretty, they've been good at like uh, maintaining that ramp and it's not really a ramp anymore. It's like, you know, uh, or it's not the burst production rate anymore. It's actually pretty, you know, it's, it's the average production rate, which is very good. And there's a lot of, you know, uh, Analysts out there, sh short sellers who are commenting about Tesla, talking about how uh, you know Tesla has been stockpiling their cars and uh, there, are, there are a lot of cancellations. And I think that's that's all haters talking. That's all like bullshit speculation out in the market. Don't listen to that. I think there is a lot of demand for this car. I think the constraint is production. I think Tesla is doing a great job improving that. And I think now the constraint or the bottleneck is going to be delivery, so which they are which they are also working on. So the bottom line is this car is great, drives more than uh, drives longer than you would expect it to, and has so much mo so so much more than you know you would expect. So hold on to your reservations, and you will not be disappointed. Until next time.